I am really excited to do another what's for dinner video. Um, I don't really know if it's going to be like a week of my dinners because um, it's just hard to predict what my week is going to be looking like and I'm eating a lot of leftovers. So I may just give you guys a few different ideas and I'll let you know if I'm like eating leftovers or anything. So I'm on the blue plan. Um, I have 25 points a day to use which seems like a lot because I was used to like I think it was 23 or 20 anyway um, which is great um, and another reason why I am excited is because my baby my son Sam is eight almost nine months old and we're really trying to introduce him to like not pureed food and so he is going to be trying some of the things so I'm probably going to honestly either entirely admit or really be minimal on salt um just just because he's also going to be eating it yeah so yeah I'm excited uh the first recipe I'm going to do is you can guess it from who it's from Emily Bites you are correct because I love her um, it's a recipe I haven't tried before. I think it is called Florentine Mac and Cheese. Um, so it's like spinach and chicken mac and cheese. And Sam has the only like real food, like meaning, I'm saying like real food, meaning like you could just like eat it with a meal or whatever, like not pureed or anything like that. Is he just likes these like crackers and puffs. And I think that's the only, oh, sweet potatoes. But I kind of like, uh, I just like stirred around so it's a little bit consistent. Uh, uh, but it's almost, it's almost pureed form. So I'm hoping that some of these meals will be interesting and maybe we could get some protein into that kid so he could sleep better. To start with, in my large pot, I got some olive oil heated up and then I cut up my chicken and then so I'm just not going to add salt to this recipe and I'm going to add it to my personal dish at the end but that's definitely just because of the baby and I'm just trying to be careful so this just has pepper in it and then I have some garlic powder that I'm going to sprinkle in while the chicken is cooking I just have um, the flour um, and then it's supposed to be salt and pepper, so I'm just going to do pepper and mix it in. Okay, so my chicken is cooked and I'm setting it to the side. I'm going to cover it with foil. But question, how do you guys get the chicken to like be brown? Because they're cooked all the way through, but I kind of like it when it has that brown browning on it. Um, and I can't seem to do it. Um, I wonder if it my temp if I'm just not starting if I'm not patient enough and getting my pan hot enough to kind of like sear it is that the word I'm looking for anyways all right in here I have light butter so I'm learning I'm, I'm worried I might burn the butter a little bit because I might have just missed my son's first crawl I'm not sure but we'll see um so just going to mix it. It's supposed to try to get like the brown part of it. So this is the uh, light butter. Mix, 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 mix. I'm supposed to try to get the brown things. And then um, I'm finally learning. If you watch, I usually drop this in and it goes here because it is a tiny uh, whisk. So then just this is the flour mixture from earlier. So I'm just going to add a little bit stir then add a little bit and stir and I believe this is the room making step and I have added the milk sorry it's hard to pour and do that at the same time and so then I am just doing the same thing kind of stirring it all together what oh my gosh it had to happen Okay, now I have to fish it out. But the water has been added and now I just have to get it to boiling. This, this is embarrassing. Well, I possibly might have let it boil too much because I had to take care of the kiddo. But I weighed out my macaroni um, and just to make sure it's 10 ounces because 
they don't make 10 ounce blocks um, or 10 ounce boxes and then I'm going to set a timer and let this cook all right pasta should be cooked Ooh, it looks nice and creamy this is promising um so now I am going to be adding the cheese so it's a mixture of mozzarella and parmesan it's supposed to be like fancy parmesan but um all i have currently is the kind it, the craft kind you know the kind that comes in a can so mine might be a little less fancy um oh my gosh guys i think this is going to be really nice right do you already see how it's looking gooey Ooh, ooh. All right, so <laughs> I have a little visitor. Hi, Sammy. Are you practicing walking with Daddy? Yeah, that's good. You want to come visit me in the kitchen? I can't wait till you're tall enough to help me. Oh. Well, sometimes you help me more. Oh, you wave, Sam. Oh, hi, Sammy. Hi, can you wave? Hi. Oh, that's close. That's close. Good job. Okay, I have approximately three ounces of spinach that I just have to fold in until it is wilted. And then you just add the chicken. All right, this is seven points for one cup serving. I actually have 14 points left in today, so I am having two cups plus I'm sharing with this guy. Are you going to try mama's cooking? Yeah. Oh, he got super not excited about that. Well, a little bit of progress. I think he liked the sauce because he, but he didn't like the noodle. He hasn't tried noodles before. Um, and I'm wondering if they were too al dente for him. Um, like if he would have liked it if it was saucer because he ate the sauce and he took a bite of the chicken which is huge we're really trying to get some protein in him um i thought that it was just okay and i'm wondering if it's because i omitted the salt um yeah it wasn't bad it wasn't great i definitely like the recipe the pasta recipe i did last time um so I might tomorrow, because I didn't add salt to my dish, I probably should have. I might add salt to my dish when I have leftovers tomorrow and see how it goes. Hi guys, um, it is the next day, Saturday, and I went out with my mom for lunch, uh, which was great for her birthday. Um, and so I have fewer points than I would like to for like a filling portion of that mac and cheese, because I'm still like new and my stomach's still shrinking. Um, so I'm going to try to have a lower point, but still pretty filling dinner because like we went in the pool and swimming and stuff. Sam is really starting to like do well in the pool, which is great. Um, so my protein, I'm going to have these blackened chicken strips, the Tyson ones. Um, these are zero points on the blue plan. I don't have it with me, but I'm sure everybody has seen it. I'm going to have it with a uh, boathouse ranch which is pretty good to dip it in because this has a little bit of a kick to it and apparently i am sensitive to that one and then it has been a while my friend i am going to make my brussels sprouts these are two point yeah i'm pretty sure they're two point hard uh brussels sprouts um and the points come from these two bad guys and i am really not a huge vegetable person but i am working on it um so this is really easy so the points just come from the bacon and then center cup bacon and then the teaspoon of brown sugar so let me show you what i do okay so you just take honestly how many ever brussels sprouts you want or you think is good for a portion um and then you cut the ends off and then you could either half them or quarter them just depending on the size you want and how lazy you feel like being um so this is really i know i've showed this to you guys on um youtube before but it has been a long time 
Um, actually, so I am obsessed, or at least I was obsessed, and I hope I still like it, with this recipe. And I was eating it a ton right before I got pregnant or like in the early stages of pregnancy. So much so that one of our nicknames for Sam, like before we knew he was going to be a boy and then also like, you know, when just that new stage of being pregnant, um, we were considering and for a while we kind of were calling him um, sprout or little sprout like Brussels sprout because we we're like, he's going to be made of so many Brussels sprouts. But uh, definitely had to stop eating these during that first trimester really quickly because um, it was just hard to keep things down. That didn't end up sticking. We ended up calling him Lil G before, not little, but Lil, like um, kind of like we were pretending like a rapper name um, until we f figured out like that he's going to be a boy and his what his name was going to be and stuff. Um, so this is definitely like a fond memory thing and I hope that I still like it. I really hope so because I need to get more green veggies in me. And I'm also hoping that like one day Sam will like this and that this can just be, I don't know, this could just be like a special dish where he has memories. Okay, so now um, I'm going to take a couple of garlic cloves and then just smash it and take it out of the pill. Do I slice it? Why do I not remember how to do this? Oh, here we go. I just wanted to smash it more. Um, and I'm going to peel it. There we go. And um, kind of stick it on kind of whole. Stick it in there. Um, so this really, how much garlic? Do I do the ends? This really just depends on how much garlic you like, what you feel like. Um, I'm doing four because I really can't remember how much I like. <laughs> the next step is um, you take one point of your bacon. So now center cup bacon, this is really going to depend on your brand, how many slices you get. But for me, one point um, is two slices which is awesome now I do kind of like to make sure that these are separated a bit so this is one of the places where you will get your flavor from which is awesome so this is one of the key things I am obsessed with center cup bacon I can't like if I had a friend in real life who's doing Weight Watchers Center cup bacon would absolutely be one of the things I would say is a must for starter or for continuing. Next up is the seasonings, but before I do that, I just kind of like to coat um, everything with a quick little spray of, um, of the olive oil spray just to see if people will stick. Okay, so I don't measure these and it's very much going to be to taste. So I have, oh, you can't really see. Salt, I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of salt on and then I use some pepper and sprinkle some pepper. It's getting stuck. There we go, that's probably fine. A tad bit of rosemary. This is crushed rosemary. And then the other flavor is one teaspoon of real brown sugar. Woohoo! Okay, so I'm going to sprinkle that on. Okay, this gets a little messy, but then I just kind of smush everything around and spread it back out again just to kind of put it oh man I really hope I like these and I remember these being as good as they were before all right ta-da and of course my vegetables have real sugar and center cup bacon but hey it's still green right okay I'm going to uh, do these at 375 for about 20 minutes um, but do watch them because they kind of get caramelized uh, so to make sure they don't get too burnt 
All right, this is what my dinner turned out to be. So it's two points at Boathouse Ranch, zero points for the chicken breast, two points for the Brussels sprout mixture, and I think it caramelized. Ooh, that one looks good. I would like all of them to be that color. Um, but anyway, yeah, we'll see. Um, this is unsweetened applesauce, zero points with just some, uh, uh, what is it called? Cinnamon that I sprinkled on top. I am obsessed with the kettle popcorners. I think it's three points for the bag. And I love only four ingredients. And then also obsessed with nectarines, zero points. Um, so it's just three, four, five, six, seven points. Pretty good. I think this this is plenty of food, so I think this should be a good dinner. All right, it is Sunday now, and I am trying to make um, my dinner for for tonight. Oh, so while I'm squeezing out a lemon, I'm a pretty messy person, so I'm really trying to. Um, oh shoot, I should have done the TikTok thing I saw. Did you guys see the TikTok thing where it's like? Uh, you just use tongs to help squeeze out a lemon well. Should have tried that, but I think all my tongs are dirty. Um, oh my gosh, I just spilled it. That's okay. Um, so in this bowl, I have a half a cup, uh, which is how much I'm supposed to use. Um, so I am adapting a recipe that's just like a regular recipe so this is like a crock pot creamy lemon chicken and I'm just trying to make it more Weight Watcher friendly by subbing out um, some lighter ingredients for what they were using anyways my um, dinner last night ended up being super good like it's pretty easy but I felt fairly good about it because I think it was like a good well, okay, because I had some vegetables, meaning some Brussels sprouts in it, um, which is, which I was pretty excited about. Yeah, okay, I'm going to need to pause this. But, um, so last night's dinner was super good, really easy. I'm going to keep it in mind for future uses. Um, all right, so I'm starting off, oh, this recipe that I'm adapting, I'm going to put the original in there. Um, it is three points, but it's really going to depend on like what brand you use. So please make sure you put it in your recipe builder because I just don't want to lead anybody astray with the points, but I believe it's three points. Okay. And one of my all time favorite things, most of the ingredients use the same amount of measuring things. Oh. Here's a seed. Let me get it out. I love it. Less dishes and just all around easier. Um, so you need a half a cup of lemon juice. It's supposed to be fresh squeezed, but I for sure do not judge. Um, this is chicken broth, so half a cup of chicken broth. And then it's supposed to be half a cup of half and half, but I am using fat-free half and a half to save some points. Boom, there we go. So to that mixture, you add garlic. Um, I, I am going to add more garlic than what it's called for because I am a garlic fan. So um, once again, I'll have the link there. I'm just adding a plop of garlic. <laughs> uh to mine and then you need to add some oregano yeah i think i'm confident i'm pretty confident um with how i personally like things to be flavored where if it's like a tea like i get a ballpark so i know i'm not putting too little in it um but then i don't i'm not really measuring my seasonings that much anymore because I just feel like I know what I like and I could kind of picture it up and then you have time so once again correct measurements will be down below I like to eyeball it 
and then you are supposed to have paprika I really need to remember to get it I'm going to use cayenne pepper which I looked up is one of the um, substitute this is kind okay good for some reason I was like wait did I check um, yes and then you stir it all together stir 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 all right and then um i am so i'm using less butter than it's called for i think six tablespoons is called for i am only going to use four and i'm using the light butter i just get it at aldi i wish it came in stick form but it doesn't um so it's just in a tub so i had to measure it um so i am using four tablespoons of the light butter to help save on point so just go mix this up In my crock pot, I have the um, just some chicken breast, and I'm just going to pour this over. Oh, and they said some curdling is to be expected. So, cool. There's one more step to do towards the end, um, but I'm just going to cook it on low. Easy. Okay, I'm sorry. I forgot to film one part, so about an hour before it's done you're supposed to take um take out the uh, about a cup of the broth and then add some cornstarch mix it in to try to thicken it this is not very thick and it kind of looks all broken up right i mean i'm not really going to worry about it because it smells pretty good so hopefully it'll have some nice flavor to it but um, I'm going to plate it all up with, and show you what I paired it with. Well, this is what my dinner ended up looking like. Um, I did have to microwave it because the baby is really having a hard time and waking up a bazillion times. Um, yes. But anyway, I am thankful I'm still sticking with the plan. So the Brussels sprouts are two points. These are... Yeah, and they got burnt also because of stuff. But, um, baby. Anyway, so I had 8 points worth of this. 3 points, so that's 11, 12, 13 points for, um, 8 points for, I'm sorry, 3 points for the sauce chicken. And then, um, 2 points and then 8 points for that. Uh, yeah, so I am going to eat this and hope it is good microwaved. Hi, it is about five o'clock, almost five o'clock uh, in the morning the next day and I just realized I forgot to tell you what I thought about the dinner. Even heated up, it was super, super delicious. I'm really, um, like, this is a recipe because like I tweaked it a little bit to make more Weight Watchers friendly that like if I was a food blogger or maybe honestly once I have more time I would just figure it out uh, I would continue to tweak it and like make it like a full like recipe with like exact things because it was super good so if you're going to recreate it like I will send you guys what I was inspired by I would recommend um, using the recipe builder on the Weight Watchers app or I think the computer is a little bit easier to use for this one um, so you could have like your specific brands of like the fat free half and half or whatever to make sure you get accurate measurements or accurate points for this um, because uh, I think it'll make a difference and we want to make sure that we are tracking correctly. So um, so anyway, yeah, it, it was crazy. Um, yeah, last night was really difficult with the kiddo. It took us about two hours of trying to go to him to go to sleep. He was supposed to be asleep around six and he, I think, went to eventual bed um, around eight o'clock. His like last wake window, I think he was up for five and a half, almost six hours, which he's eight, about eight and a half months old. That's according to what I read that's like really not an age appropriate wake time for him um and Eric and I were just 
trying, trying, trying. We were tag teaming, trying to help him fall asleep. And he was fine. Like, he's not really teething right now. Like, he had, like, fresh pajamas. It was a comfortable temperature. Like, he wasn't uncomfortable. And it's, um, it's just hard. It has been a, his sleep has always been a struggle. Um, we had a brief moment where it wasn't as terrible, but, like, he takes short, he, he takes short naps. He, for the most part, he fights naps going to, he fights naps. He fights going to sleep. He wakes up way earlier than he's supposed to. He, like, he wakes up so many times. Like, a couple nights ago, he woke up, he was, like, asleep for maybe 10 and a half, 11 hours. And he woke up 14 times during that during that time and needed like help going back to sleep he we still give him two bottles um because sometimes i don't know if he needs them i don't know because he's almost nine months um i don't know if he needs them um but that does help him relax to fall back asleep um we i it's it's just really, it's really tough, and it's, it's tough not to feel, especially when it takes two hours, and you're trying everything, it's tough not to feel like a bad mom, or a failure as a mom, or dad, because Eric was feeling that way too, because it's like, I wish I could give him, I wish like me rocking, or me like singing, or, or anything, all the things I try to do to help give him comfort so he could relax to fall asleep it feels like I'm not enough and I'm not doing enough or like or because I wasn't able to nurse that it like it will just always haunt me and be really hard and very difficult to to um to feel like well if I was able to nurse because physically I just we couldn't um we couldn't do it like oh that would give him comfort it would be like such a bonding thing and and that would probably work or whatever and we have even tried to do like bed sharing which i know is not recommended he he that was that was terrible he thought it was time to party the whole night and um, when we are, when Eric and I are doing well, we just try to, like, emotionally well with his sleep. Um, because this, like I said, it's been almost nine months of, of this. Um, when it's going well, we just try to, like, when we're doing well with it mentally and, and emotionally and stuff, we, we, we are able to, like, take a step back and say, like, okay, let's look at this kid. He is healthy. This kid is growing really well he's having no like physical like physically he is healthy and for the most part he is a really 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 happy easy going fu for sure fun loving this kid like likes to have fun kid so it's so and he's like he's developing like like meeting milestones that he's supposed to even with being a terrible sleeper sometimes sometimes the lack of sleep does catch up to him and he gets cranky sometimes but that really doesn't happen very often and then i will either just play like oh my gosh yes maybe i could get him to take a nap a little earlier or something or i just stick him in the wrap this 20 pound 25 pounds he's 25 pounds i just measured him or weighed him yesterday um 25 pound kid still likes to be in that wrap that I used to use when he was teeny tiny baby and then all crankiness or any crankiness gone so he is pretty like so so I know he's happy and he's healthy even when he's when he's not sleeping well oh my gosh he might I think he might be waking so waking up so I might have to get him He's trying to decide if he's going to. Okay. Um, 
yes so so when i do that i just try not to worry about it if i'm thinking and being reminded of that that is when things are going well and i am able to like mentally get in that place but it's hard okay yep gotta go get it. false alarm um he he just complaining um getting into a comfortable position so that's good um anyway so i just i was explaining this um because i just want to let you guys know that sorry if my voice like if i sounded if when i was explaining about the dish last evening um that it wasn't like if I if I sounded like I was having a hard evening, it's because I was having a hard evening. So I just wanted to explain it. Um, yeah, we love this little guy. He's such he's he's really is our bundle of joy. Like he's so we we just love him so much. And it it's just hard. It's just so hard when you just feel like you you don't know how to to help your baby. You know. It's just hard, but like I'm not giving up and eventually like you can't be waking up 14 times. I tell myself, it's like, okay, he's not going to be 15 years old and waking up 14 times in the night needing me or needing something, you know, because sometimes it's like, well, I can't give him what he needs. Um, so this is only going to be for a season. And eventually, eventually we will figure it out together as a family. Um, so I am going to, for the rest of the week time, I'm going to have leftovers for what I made because it was absolutely delicious. And I'm really excited. Um, I'm really, really excited about it. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to film it because it's going to be like, hey, this again, this again, <laughs> you know, um, but be I guess because I know I warmed it up, uh, it's going to make great leftovers, which is awesome. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please, um, if you haven't, please check out the shop. My husband and I, we sew. <laughs> That's my sewing machine back there. Uh, we sew travel bags. So if you are going on a trip, uh, it helps you stay organized. Um, and then and they're definitely all handmade um bags and uh, if you could give this video a thumbs up that'd be really nice and uh if you are new we would love to have you as a subscriber and i think that's it so thanks so much for watching hope you guys are having a great week hope you're sleeping well hope you don't have to wake up 14 times a night uh okay talk to you later bye